All right, lads, uh, let's just get, let's just go straight in. I've got to take out this lot first. Make sure I have control of both sides of the straights. Cheeky barrage there. Okay, that is very lucky. 37 days, and now we have control of both sides of the straight. Right, that's fortunate. I reckon we have to deal with the Tunisians first, to be honest. I'm not sure why their navies aren't attacking. I don't want them on the mainland, so I think what we have to do is build galleys. Oh, right, yeah. I forgot. There's gonna be rebels. I only meant to go and declare war on Morocco and then deal with the rebels. And now I'm here. Okay, I do need like a military guy, please. No, like a military guy, like as in it'll help my army. Discipline and morale, please. One of the two, okay? Cool. On the siege of Tel Emsan. Yeah, okay, that one we're not gonna win. I think we just have an insane navy, you know. It's an honor, Galicia. It was an honor. All right, let's fight the Tunisians. Our troops are pretty good. Oh, cool. So now your, your rebels are gonna march into my land. How fun. Aragon. I know this is an objectively stupid idea, but I'm gonna go ahead and get him to become Catholic. Because I think it'd be funny. That's actually the only reason I'm doing it. Oh, there goes my navy. All right, we've annexed Leon. Oh my God, a 6-3. Do it again then. Clearly our stats are high. Nope, that was, in fact, a fluke. I'm gonna do it again though. Zero four will take. Yeah, it's fun that you're not gonna give me access, <laughs> Aragon. So you're, you're really screwing me over on a few different counts here. Our admiral's dead. Can't say I ever used him. Okay, we just got absolutely trounced again. <laughs> we need more galleys before we do anything. For the love of God, give me a military commander. There we go, there's Tunis. That should be Tunis done, actually. Oh, you know, we're allied with, um, uh, with the Ottomans. Okay, well, that makes life kind of easy. You know what we'll do? Take war reps and give me money. But otherwise, I'll leave you intact and then I'll I'll use you to truce break against Tafliat. We have a lot of money. We've been great friends with the Swedes the entire time. You know, he doesn't call me into his wars. I don't call him into mine. We just, we're just fond of each other. You know when people just get on? It's great. <laughs> okay, boys, I will be honest. If we lose this siege, we can't get... Thank you. Now, if we lose this siege, we can't go to the other side. All we need to do, win the siege, nip over there. Wonderful. Good job. Okay, a galley got caught. Oh, no, it got captured. Unfortunate. We should be fine now. Hopefully we can nick it back. We did not. I don't really want to change my unit type right now. I think that'd be a bad idea. We're going to do it, though. See if it triggers them to do anything. Aragon, man, every time, every time, you little rat, I run somewhere to do something. You're just following in my wake, honestly. L you little scumbag. What a nasty little cretin. Well, might as well do this. Hey, okay, truce is up real soon. We need to blitz through this war. I'm not going to declare statue in restraint of appeals. I am still a loyal Catholic, insofar as I have to be. Go ahead and get province war score cost. Go and retake this capital yet again. So how come he can march in there, but I can't? What's that about? There's colonialism. Really a crusade against Tunis? Really? Like I said, we take all their stuff. Keeping this province because it's a gold mine. So uh, I'm going to give it to Moroccans instead because <laughs> I can't core it because there's no path. And that would re require me to wait for him to do it. And I'm impatient. So Steel's bankrupt. I think I'm going to move my trading capital over to Sevilla and then push trade from here into here. We'll go ahead head and grab divert trade that's just a little bit more cash that's a thousand though which i don't really want to do right now tell you what the tunisians are scrapping so we, if we were still allied i could have helped but fortunately you made your bet i hate the automatic transport system sometimes it just doesn't work it refuses to cool excommunicated he's aragon oh and tunis isn't looking too hot oh immediately jump on that where are your troops oh they're in the new world aren't they well that is a shame that is a crying shame oh, i've lost my casus belli the kin monster uh, I kind of want to do this because then I get lowered impact from actions. Start playing the Postal Union game. And there's no one. I mean, they're just watertight, the dynasties in this game. They're just, honestly, you, you could not split them. Oh, hello, Timbuktu. Or as we know you, Buktu. Thanks to that province war score cost side of things as well, we can vassalize the Castilian. Pustunus is done. I'll sort that out later. Oh, Morocco's actually got enough troops to siege down Fez. That's very convenient. If I took even more. French still wouldn't get involved. Uh, considering the age of discovery is ending, I reckon we take Lisbon. Okay, collapse of the Sultanate. The Ottomans are doing swimmingly. We're ahead of time in all technologies. Oh, we can just walk through. Sweet. Thanks for sorting that one out. Appreciate it. We actually haven't checked out Protestantism. Um, yeah, it's not not doing great. Only one guy, and he's our ally. You want military access? Yeah, sure, buddy, go for it. Really spent our admin on. I suppose using our inflation. What about powerhouse now? Because we're ahead of time on everything. All right, whilst we're waiting for this war to be done, let's go ahead and declare war. And my general died just as I sent him across. He decided to retire. Ah, hello, Castile. Very bold of you to come up here. I don't think I've ever been like this ahead in tech. I can't. Like, I want this. Well, technically, it'd be better for me to develop. So let's just do that. Let's try and play as optimal naval doctrine. Basque Marine. Where are you landing? I get here. Oh, they've landed back. That's nice. I did not mean for my voice to go. Go that high but they've landed back oh my god this is really irritating all right we need more ships all right he's locked in now he's gonna land over here presumably close to accepting it's honestly ridiculous <gasps> nice okay he moved his ships perfect that could tip us over the edge here all right where's he retreating to one over that quite 
95%. I think that's what we want to do. Yep, can upgrade to a kingdom. I'm going to save my power, but honestly, I think I'm just going to do that. All right, let's develop on this front as well. Get that manpower up. I mean, he could have easily defended his island. Oh, lovely. Uh, let's go for urban infrastructure. Send cheaper national scientists. I'll absolutely take that. Actually, disgusting how much money we make. I just built the worst possible building in my nation. I couldn't even be bothered. All right, we vassalized the Castilians. Start a golden era. Why not? This could be all for about five years. So, adapt to combat terrain. And uh, we'll improve relations with them. <laughs> the last 80 years have seen you go from the dominant power on the Iberian Peninsula to this. Well, Portugal and I reckon the English. All right, there's all of those cores done. Build buildings. Why not? For all of these lands. You know what time it is as well. No unrest. Let's change that. Just satisfying noise. There's much point me putting you into a... Now you're Catholic, I think what I'm going to do. And then add you to a trade company. Embrace colonialism. That looks good to me. I'm going to have to attack the English. For that, I'm going to need to get rid of the Swedish-English alliance. That was a lot easier than I thought it would be. All right, let's gather everyone home. Time for us to fight the English. Or can we rush down Valencia? I don't think there's any forts preventing that. Get him to annul his alliances with France and England and then go after him later. If I am not able to siege that down before the English turn up, it's kind of over for me, but I'm backing that he'll be too busy in the new world to do anything. Oh, we have a lot of force limit. And we have... Okay, let's do this properly, because we have a lot of force limit and a lot of money. See, me being my, over my force limit has actually cost me quite a bit, but because of our existing income. I think it's finally time we let Alexander take control. You know what? I'm suddenly a lot more confident now that I have probably the largest or second largest army in the planet. Now Portugal's back involved. Okay, this is going to be risky. We're going to have to fight everyone at once. The conquest of a Laborde. we we'll fight everyone today. Barrage to his rebels and then let's get an army up there. Oh, no, oh to God, no one else comes. All right, we also have a plus one to our dice rolls. Oh, that's lovely. That's less lovely. We haven't been bamboozled there. Fine, let's just head back and give it another crack. Can nip in, hopefully stack wipe that. Morocco, I'm going to need you on that, please. We won the siege of Valencia. That's not his capital. His capital's not Valencia. His capital's Barcelona. Why is his capital Barcelona? When did that change? Okay, uh, another military idea. What military idea should we go for? I mean, this will give us even more force limit modifier. So, yeah, they're not attacking me in the mountains. That's good. Oh, 79 days. That is record for a siege. Excellent. Take him out there. I'm lucky the English didn't, didn't decide to turn up and I was right that they wouldn't. This has been a strictly Iberian war thus far. Oh, the English did land a thousand troops. I may have spoken too early. Who knows what this cavalry could do? Okay, that's a bit more. Then now there's 2,000. Kill three artists. Perfect. Okay, I'm Banking that'll win this before he wins that. 64%. Okay, there we go. France, France, England, Venice, all done. Portugal, I'm gonna keep because I'm gonna attack Portugal later. Uh, and that'll reset the, two, the truce timer with this guy. Really, let's just get him out of the war. This siege has been going on a while, I'll go off. Like, we've beaten the uh, Aragonese in the time it's taken for us to do anything with that. This was a mistake. Just for a second, I thought we could take on the British Navy. And I, I don't know why I thought that. Get rid of your alliance with England. Now that'll allow me to sneak back across here and help deal with this. Not sure why he's allowed in there and I'm not. I'm military actions with this game is a little bit mysterious sometimes. Yeah, sure, Border Treasury, nice. We have got, and I believe the scientific time is buckets of ducats. Siege of the is done. And I guess now we just sort of rest up because there's not much we can do. I've got access from the French, so let's go up into Normandy. Oh, Normandy! As the French say. Ah, oh, Swedish France. Hello, friend. I, I do believe that the English being so strong, as, as inconvenient as it was in the early game, has now aided us. An enemy invasion somewhere, apparently. Do not a must. Oh, well, that's everyone dead, isn't it? Okay, for a second, I thought we got away with it. We did get away with it. All right, go take out the English. Before they land, before they land, before they land. Okay, where is it landing now? All right, same place. All right, we're good. Okay, that's one siege. You know what? I'll help out here. Yeah? I'll take out some French separatists. Don't worry, Sweden. I got you, buddy. Needs to be a thing of defended our territory. Probably still there, but probably only when you siege it back. So why is he allowed there? He doesn't have any access to Aragon. He shouldn't be standing there. And yet he is. Yeah, I'll get coalition if I do that. But I can take this. Anything I want to do? Nope, you've got no allies. I can't just take it. Go, you know. Now we need to go after the French. This has gone remarkably well. Yeah, we actually have more troops than France as is. Well, roughly more. Let him go, let him go, let him go, let him go. Okay, does that count as the... Nope. Catholic zealots that didn't, try, didn't convert anything. Presumably because of a fort. No, they should have converted it then. Quite a different type of zealot. One sort's dead. That's a shame. She was actually quite good. Uh, let's try and get a uh, thing going with Stet. Oh, he lived a long time, but he's dead now. That's such a shame. He was an amazing king. Belem Tower, a place I have actually been. Uh, and I was preparing to do a vlog about. I still have the footage. I should still do that. Yeah, I stood on the on these beaches. I was there. <laughs> what did I just do? Accession war for the Stetin with... Oh, boy. <laughs> Oh, Tercio company. Do I get Tercios now? <gasps> I do. Austria wants to be friends. So no one liking us to everyone. I'm saving up my manpower for fighting the French. <laughs> oh, boy. Pretty much it. I mean, a couple of others would accept potentially, but I'd need to take another idea group. You're having a bad time down there, Marley. Oh, my truce is up with you. Okay, I want to do a couple of things. Your independence is guaranteed. Okay, well, let's do this one first. We can do both at the same time, I suppose. Reconquest. Okay, that's the plan. Okay, I should have probably put a, yeah, general on that. 
That's that's on me. I reckon I'm just having an absolute nightmare. Um, I reckon we just declare war on Portugal. Just have to be a little bit conscious uh, of the war score. Oh, there's some groups down there. It's okay. Still, those the second this is done. The, the second this is done, I cannot let them take that. That's what become defender of the faith. We need to force Marley to become Catholic as well. That was a mistake. Oh, lovely. Excuse the ruler of uh, Aragon. That would have been wonderful. I could declare war with uh, that Castabella, but instead, I have to say this is an incredibly annoying war to fight. It's split across two continents. He's always in the bloody mountains. And every five seconds, you get a pop up saying there's trouble in Mali. Finally, got a stack wipe off there. That's good. We move forwards. Siege ability whilst we're here. Gaston's going. Portugal's pulled up, unfortunately. Finally, that's a stack wipe, and hopefully that is as well. Nope, that's just painful. Nope, he's legged it into France. So they're just everywhere. Don't win that on 40%. Don't win that on 40 I swear to God. Come on. Stop fighting till they fight to the last man every time. It just prevents me from doing anything. Oh, for God's sake. Of course, he win just as I arrived. Okay, I managed to scare him away. Even though if he took that province, I'd be dead. Okay, we cleared the Aragonese out of... <laughs> We've got to get out of this war quick as well, just in case the worst happens and the French turn up. You have a great sense of humor game. You have a wonderful sense of humor. Honestly, it's, it's immaculate. I mean, they've stood by me the entire time. I can't exactly abandon them, can I? Finally managed to vassalize the Portuguese. The Swedes are just going to have to wait. Morale is plus 5%. I want to know how this works. It's the succession war between Navarre and France, but I'm already at war with France. Would they... Put me in a separate war. Okay, old bug's done. I thought something bad had happened. I'm now very jumpy and panicky. I don't know, I kind of got the French aren't coming for me here. I, I need, a, like, a second to, to figure out what's going on. They'll accept this peace. Now it's Aragonese inheritance done. Pretty sure that was meant to give me a... I thought I was going to get a, a restoration union. No, that's fine. I'm going to take these two. Yeah, I'll take this and then start annexing Morocco. I don't know why I'd click that now. It's very stupid of me. Probably should have helped with that. Still can help with that. And I'm helping with that. Well, this was an error. This was this was an error. Let's let's go. Let's let's leave. Okay. Provence is gone. How nice would it be if if Sweden were to actually fight? How how cool, how quirky would that be? Because I don't know if I have the stomach for this fight. Alright, we'll take out the Bretons and we'll stagger this appropriately. They've left it alone. Nice. Uh, okay, what do I do? Nivernay. I mean, there's nothing stopping from marching into that now, apart from the French army. You know what? I think we go for Paris, because our siege ability should be better. Take the war goal, take Paris. Right, I'm going to try and bait them. Take Armagnac, get rid of that. We've taken Paris. Okay, he should go for the war goal now. Hey, okay. oh, he'll go for Paris. Wait for him to lock in. Dude, I wish I had my Tercios. Oh, I should have had Tercios. What a mistake. Okay, that's locked in. Could have decided not to go for it. It was Sweden. <laughs> you have an army of 2k. You're not doing anything. Do you, do you actually not have an army? Okay, he's got 26k chilling in Warsaw. And Lubex was, so I'm just fighting this war. Okay. Can I get over there somehow? No. We can't let Paris fall. So let's go in on that. Watch the behind us. Wait for a second. We actually won. This is a bloody miracle that I'm getting this far. Oh, this is getting painful. All right, I do need to sit and recover my manpower. Otherwise, this war is not going to last long at all. I reckon he's separatist. Okay. Uh, let's retreat. Ooh. That seems like a tasty little catch here. 6,000 French troops on their own. And we get combat width plus two. I think the French have been basically ground into dust. It's amazing what you can do when you have quantity ideas and a lot of money. And also vassals, so... Manpower should be not an issue with them. That is cheap. Skill three advisor. Let's scale that up. I thought Sweden just wiped peace with France. I don't know why, but I panicked. Well, the French are up there. They're trying to take out Lubeck. Oh my God, the Swedes are actually going to march in and do something for once. How do we only have 55%? Those numbers don't add up to 100%. Sweden's done four. Lubeck's done nine and I've done 55. Well, who did the rest? That's what I want to know. I have to rest up for what I feel is going to be an inevitable war over here. This could be... Nifty as well. Lubeck, except the white piece of France. I mean, I'm bloody tempted at this point. We've got to do something about Mali at some point, man. Ah, oh, more Catholics have been popping up. Lune has gone to Sweden. We get a bunch of stuff. Provence gets a bunch of stuff. Sweet, Clemson Gascony. And we get restoration of the Union over France. Well, that's going to piss off a lot of people. Oh, you've killed me. <laughs> you've, you've killed me. <laughs> 25 years. We can wait that long. One thing I've been keeping my eye on is this Moroccan tree. Aragon's the strongest power, unfortunately. If I upgrade these, I might give them enough power. If it comes the strongest power, it'll help quite a bit. 2%. I need one more. This might do it. He is the strongest power. Should be able to take it, and he does. Okay, Morocco now has a border. I need to get way more Tercios. Uh, and also, I need to get people going on outrage country. Bit of a time bomb, that. Accession war between France and Poland, so I'm no longer involved. Oh, because the royal marriage. Well, I can get that back. Finish off our offensive ideas. And our entire idea set is done. Oh god, Britain's everywhere. Portuguese hate him. Surprised Portugal's not 
you know, doing more. You are my vassal. What do you Brazil's doing stuff? Right, we're going off to Timbuktu. Morocco, can you like, can you share maps with me or something? Oh Christ, the English conquest of Inverness. It's like a broken France. This place is such a mess. It doesn't help that I can't see anything. France has asked me as a new rival. Okay, yeah, I was wondering why you looked a bit strange. You lost land. Like I said, don't like the fact that I can't see around here. The walls were bambook, but I don't know where that is. I also can't march up here, but I can march down there, I suppose. Like, I, it'd be great if they'd come to Morocco. That's wonderful. Did we take bambook yet? No. <laughs> where is this place? I can march there now. Oh my God, that's brilliant. Also, Trent, do I embrace the Council Reformation? I mean, I might as well, right? I'm staying Catholic after all, even if the Pope doesn't like me. Oh, stack wipe, nice. Uh, we'll go harsh. Did we take bambook? Yeah, I think we have. Uh, air's on low. He's <laughs> low on air. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. That's fine. Wagadougou and Hausa. Uh, I can take Hausa. Can't go to Wagadougou. There's just too much I do not know. Our innovativeness is huge. All right, Mali probably has a mission tree that they need to. Okay, you're not doing that. Conquer Jenny, not doing that. Oh, you have to increase its autonomy, which is impossible because you have nothing. It was a bad idea to attack me. Just because I had low morale does not mean I don't have any tech. If this Marley's just miserable to even manage. Might station an army down here just to see if I can uh, hold back some of the rebels. There's cause over here. He has claims over here. I think I will have to station an army down here. Come to think of it, we're gonna have to fight Songhai so we can actually access it. Because otherwise, like I said, I'll just have to station an army down here permanently, which is not really something I want to do. <laughs> 79 days. All right, let's peace out with this lot. Yeah, I think I'm going to declare war on Songhai immediately after this. Just to give Mali a break. Or a chance at life, I suppose. Okay, Mali now has most of these areas. Immediately, rebels. All right, let's take these lands. Nice of Castile to come help out in West Africa. Gascon separatists are going to be an issue. So let's win this. Missing 4,000 men. Uh, all right, you guys go do with the Gascons. You lot handle Mali. The issue is it's events that are making this pop up. And so it's up to the AI to sort it. And I don't think that the AI is capable of doing that. It's a bit unfair. They have Miltech 8. I have Miltech 12, which is more advanced than most nations. All right, yeah, I have money. I should probably use it. Okay, Britain became... Anglican. An interesting and rather questionable choice. What rose up? <laughs> Portuguese Brazil's here with the cavalry charge. Nice. Morocco died. Oh, I'm just going to do this. You've stayed alive a long time and now I need you to not die because I don't want to go to war with Poland. I really don't feel like it. All right, let's go handle Kong and then that'll be it for this. Actually, Morocco does need this province. I mean, there's nothing stopping me from taking more, right? After all, why, why shouldn't I? I fought for this land. I'm a unifying force. I've given it to Portugal by mistake. Even France is going to get pissed. Why would France get pissed? Not sure what they have to do with this equation. Oh, it's fortunate I have an army right there. All right. To give him a chance, what we're going to need to do, build forts around the place. The fort in his capital should protect most things. The added benefit being that uh, he'll always be in debt and I can always just pay it off. And what we'll do as well is I want to seize land from Mali. Can't do it. Ah, that's a shame. I want to give this over. You've attacked Russia and you're fighting Austria at the same time. Swedish particular. Sweden, honestly, kind of a failed state. Not gonna lie. The other zealots are good. I'd let them run around if you want, if I was you. They actually convert stuff, which is surprising. We're, we're on the cusp of being like ridiculously wealthy. You have no idea. Um, yeah, the reason for that is quite simple. That is a it's a remarkably close fight. We could get a bunch of trade companies going in the Ivory Coast and up here the second we have all this territory. Uh, but I've got it in vassals because I don't really want to have to deal with the governing capacity cost. All right, let's get restoration of the union. Morocco's still mad that I enforced religion on him. At some point, it's like, well, come on, get over it. Yeah, yeah, I forced you to get rid of your culture and thinly held beliefs, but still, uh, whoops. I mean, how many times do I have to apologize? Okay, 27. Let's chuck in. Let's make as many tertiaries as possible. We'll mix them into the regular army. Ran through some rebels by mistake. Intervening on this great war would be like joining the war on drugs on the side of drugs. All right, that's just, this is not the done thing here. Takes for two and he's babbling buffoon. All right, I guess I got to develop again. Now right, we're creating a Malian peacekeeping force. I want to test if this works. It does not work. I was hoping that I could just leave them to it and they'd march around dampen out rebels, but no. Oh, with a shanty. Oh, with the Breton conquest. Oh, but you declared it. You finish it. The boy, huh? Boy's got cause, right? I mean, only three. That's kind of sad. I thought you'd have at least a couple more. The Ottomans are fighting. Like, this is a close fight. Well, they have Vienna, but other than that, and they are winning by 46%, so maybe not that close. This is where we have our Tercios on the front line to worry about uh, the peacekeeping force down here. Love to see that. Succession war between Sweden and Great Britain. November this year. All right, let's stop drilling then. Are you going to go? No. Okay. Hey, will you go and help that? That is a suppressed area. I, th I just assumed that you'd go and fight, but you just don't want to. Off we pop against France. Sorry, you want after I helped you. Sweden, I'm pretty honest. I only want you in this war so I can kill your rebels for you. But here. Have some ducats, pay off your loans, and now we fight. There you go. Off we pop, lads. You guys go there first, and then we'll pop over there. Marley, do you have any more cores? I think I should just annex you. 356? Yes, please. It says something that I'm focused on the rebels and not 
the French. The French have hired troops from Aragon. Don't think that's going to go too well for them, but we'll see. One Anjou. We lost Anjou. Let's head back. <laughs> did not last long, did it? Well, fighting these mountains. They're really just not fighting it. I'm scared Sweden's going to capitulate and that would lose land. Actually, it's a good thing. It sounds strange, but I kind of want Sweden to lose. Then they lose their land to, to the French, right? All right? Take out the Aragonese. Or as I like to call them, the arrogant. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. That's a lot of troops. Didn't mean to leave that siege, but here we are. Gonna have to develop it more. Other professionals do it. Gain manpower, please. Royal marriage with Sweden's done. How many rebels? Well, I suppose, yeah, Mali disaster. I'm artificially propping up Mali. And I wouldn't be the first European nation to do that in history, would I? <laughs> that count as a political joke? I think it does. I want to close war on Tunis. Siege of Lollinae is done. Let's go with the capital. Any more French troops? Probably some, like, somewhere, right? I'm so glad I positioned 14,000 men down there. Like, that was easily the best decision I've ever made in any game of EU4, ever. Okay, the reason they're doing so much damage is because they have cannons. And at this point, cannons, like, don't do that much. Unless he has Tech 13. He doesn't. Uh, but they still, they, they're not, like, useless. But our troops are better than the French siege. If Paris is done. You know, if we've been a seafaring nation, we literally never use our navy. So let's try that. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there goes our navy. And we lost the siege of all in A. Bro, they don't breach the walls. We should win these sieges fast. All right, we've won that one. We don't have force much just yet, do we? No. We'll just get out there as quick as you can, please. Oh my god, you're actually gonna make it. All right. Let's just barrage all this land. Ooh, 50% cheaper. Don't we already have a 50% cheaper guy? All right. The Breton. Let's get you to get rid of your alliances might cause the british to kill you but that is a risk i'm willing to take on your behalf who else am i fighting uh scotland is on low oh the swedes took out the scots you want that land i'll give it to you you know what as if i don't have enough vassals uh already let's just I have a reason to fight the british because i'm assuming you have cause on them. yeah for the most part okay liege let's go for them next and then oldenburg oldenburg cleaves the ultimates win their war i imagine they did yep Yep, yep. Oh, the Timurids are alive and kicking, and kicking very hard, apparently. The Moroccans have taken out the uh, the French. In this timeline, that happens. <laughs> I don't, I don't care. I just put you out of the war. Union with France. Get rid of your cause on me. You can never again claim that they are yours. French unification. They're not actually that pissed about it. We'll pay off their debt and support loyalists. I'd say there's not even a coalition against us, but uh, there is. What do you do when someone declares a coalition against you? You just instantly declare war on it. This is mainly to encourage the French to be loyal. I'm also impatient, so I'm gonna click that button. Well, siege ability, thank you. Like, see, the game hears you, man. I don't have any manpower, so I'd really appreciate it if we could win the siege. France, really? Just because of Luxembourg? No one else joined the coalition, it was just those two. Oh god, they took a fort. Oh Christ. The next tech, see if we can dissuade people from fighting us. Unconditional surrender, give this stuff to France. And the French are loyal? Not quite. Give you a gift, huh? You like money? Oh, you do like money. There you go. The French are loyal. And no one's in a coalition against us. Well, <laughs> no one was in a coalition against us. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is where we will leave it for today. We have successfully conquered pretty much all of Iberia, even though we didn't do any progress on that this session. Uh, we've taken out France. Um, we've also taken out West Africa, <laughs> which was not an aim that I had set out. Uh, the secret aim I was trying to do... I need Rethel back. Was to... Uh, I was trying to... Uh, form Jerusalem, which I think I could still do, but the Ottomans got there so fast that I didn't really feel like it anymore. Start giving land back to the French. Made them disloyal, even though I'm the one giving it back. Cool. Uh, yeah, so that uh, was rather successful. I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, from here on out, uh, I, I mean, I'm on the fence about doing a third one. I've already done two on this one, but I, I could be tempted. Uh, I'd immediately declare war on this lot. Immediately. Just to break up the coalition and take some land. Realistically, no one in Europe can threaten us. Uh, most people can't join a coalition. And the people that can already have for the most part. Britain's the only question mark in that regard. And I do want to be fighting them uh, for taking back the cause of France. Yeah, that's an option. Fighting the Aragonese, also an option. So if that's something you want to see, make sure to let yourselves be known in the comments down below. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, I will see you all next time. Bye. Huge shout out to my Patreons. Most importantly, Redguard76, Lewis Wright, Ryan B, Atreides, Blenderman, Krilly, Ghostwolf, JDow52, Xiaomi, Luke, Matthew McHugh, Mike473, Mikey Lewis, Original, Shadow Singer, and Tom. This support means a lot, guys. Also here, why not watch another video? I mean, it's it's right there. Just just click on.